You've cooled the computer with one CPU cooler before, but have you ever done it with 10? So a while ago, somebody posted this picture to our subreddit where it got me thinking, how many Intel stock coolers can we stack on top of each other until we have the ultimate solution? So currently in the system, we have an i3-10100F and it's being cooled by a $20 CPU cooler. So I did what was reasonable and I picked up $100 worth of stock coolers from the Toasty Bros because they sell them after they're done building a PC because they don't actually use stock coolers in their stuff. And we're gonna take these out, we're gonna slap them onto that 10100F and we're gonna find a way to put them all together and make it so that we have a very thonky cooler. But we actually have a bet going on right now. I think that we will actually get better temperatures on the 10 stacked Intel CPU cooler. Kyler does not. So whoever loses has to learn how to do the default Fortnite dance, whatever the, the movement is. I can't do it. So that's, I'm not looking forward to it. So just as a quick baseline, we have a CPU benchmark going on with the Cooler Master Cooler and we're averaging 46 degrees Celsius. So we should see how this little itty bitty guy does. We've got the Intel stock cooler inside and oh boy howdy, it's going ham because it's averaging 60 degrees Celsius. So 14 more than the aftermarket cooler. Let's see if we can drop these steps. So the plan is simple enough, but I'm not entirely sure it's going to work. Essentially what we're gonna have to do is pop off the top of this cooler and make it so that we stack the core of the next cooler on top of the core of this cooler. That's what the picture seems to indicate. I already looked at them and it looks like we should be able to easily take things off. I got it. I'm proficient at this. But the issue is we have to keep the mounting mechanism to keep the cooler into the motherboard. And then we have to clip off all of this so that the fan comes off. That's the important bit because the fan will actually come from the topmost cooler in order to force the air down. If we look here, I need to keep this ring base on and then we'll contact like that. So this, this needs to come off like this. There we go. There's the core at the bottom that we're gonna have to attach this to. So it's not gonna be as much of a problem once we get past this first one. I have an idea. I'm gonna slice my ah, fingers on these. It's so thin. Okay, so we want it to go in like this, right? Oh, I snapped this. I snapped that little ringy boy. There we go. That's a double layer cooler right there. Firmly attached with my fingers. I don't know how I'm gonna get the fan on, but that's that's a problem for future Brett right now. Where's the hole? Oh, it's in. Except for this came off. It did uh spread the thermal paste, so we did have full contact. There we go. That's on. Do I just like lay this on top? No, because that's not gonna. This was held up, and so it could spin underneath. But if I put this on, it's just gonna like fly away. So I have to put this on top. I mean, this is essentially what some of Intel's coolers are. They're just thicker versions of the main one. So stacking it like this, I'm expecting that we should see a decent improvement here. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, it's time for the double decker to go. That's working to some extent. That counts. That's a victory right there. So starting the stress test, we're not seeing immediately bad temperatures. All of them were sitting at 60 with just one. So now that our horror show of a cooler is working, 63 is not bad. The fan's not even fully attached. As we stack more, I'll have more space to actually keep the fan on top. That should work. I believe in the heart of the cards right now. Oh, we're like, we're at like 68, 70 degrees Celsius. It's totally fine. It's not thermal throttling at all. It only went up 10 degrees. I think that we can have better success the more we stack because again, the fan's not connected here because there's just not enough headroom for me to put it on the cooler because it's not, it's not thick enough. We need to go thicker. We need to go to five, 70 degrees. That's, it's a 10 degree increase. Well, Hold on, we're not doomed yet. I'm gonna fix this. Today's video is sponsored by Drop. They currently have their summer sales going on right now and they have over a hundred items that are up to 36% off. You've got amazing audio options like the Grail IEMs, which is $60 off or 30% discounted. Then you've got something like the Focal Elex over the ear headphones, which is currently 20% off, which is a savings of $150 or things like the designer keycaps of the GMK Laser, which is currently $40 off or a savings of 20 
20%. And then gaming headsets like the PC38Xs are 20% off alongside savings on things like their drop enter keyboard, which is currently going for only $80 or 10% discount. Drop summer sale is going on right now. It's only gonna last for a little bit. So check them out at the link in the video description. I love drop in their audio products, their keyboard products. They really have been a great sponsor to us over the years. So check them out at the link in the video description. Big thanks to them for sponsoring today's video. <clears throat> there we go. All right, numbers. This is four. We've got contact on all of these. So the idea, right? The basic idea, the premise behind all of this is that the heat will radiate up through the core on each of these coolers. And then when it gets to the top, it'll be able to be dissipated by the fan. But the benefit with this is that you have more of the core and then you have extra surface area because each of these coolers has fins attached to them to increase the cooling surface area. And then you just need a fan at the top to blow it all away. So this is five. We're five deep on this bad boy right now. It's <laughs> the thermal paste is moving. Look at this five tall. Ow, bad boy. Ow, hey, Brit, ow. <laughs> Brett, if you keep grabbing it the same way, it's gonna keep causing issues. It's already ramping up, so I'm expecting that the temperatures are already quite high. Start the stress test. 76, some might call this worse. 77. Hey, as long as we don't thermal throttle, this works for us. The hottest core is 80 degrees right now. So we've gone up, what, 20 degrees? <laughs> My suspicion here is, and I think I'll be able to win this challenge because I think it's the fan. The fan is not strong enough to push all of the air out. So if we load up a bigger fan, we should see better cooling. That's the idea. We're at 85 degrees right now. We're not even two minutes into the test. This might actually start thermal throttling. We hit 89 on core two. 90, this is a spicy boy. 91. All right, let's call it there. It's not thermal throttling. That's all I need, okay? Does it work? Yes, but we gotta go up to 10, okay? Five's not enough. I actually don't think the fan cable's gonna be long enough to hit 10. This one doesn't have thermal paste, toasty bros. Listen, this isn't super scientific so making sure the same thermal paste is on there, not very important. Oh, so there are two different clipping mechanisms. So some of them have it on the legs and then like this one is actually, it has dedicated clip boys right there. Whereas these ones are short, so they don't actually clip boy. So we're at seven right now. We're almost to the point where we won't be able to put the side panel back on. Number nine, I just realized they included one copper core cooler. This thing is thicker. This probably should have been the base because copper is much better heat conductor. It, it's gonna be the capstone, I guess. It even has like the fancy cable. There you go. Dang it, Toasty Bros, didn't you know that I needed 10 of the same cooler? Even though I didn't disclose that on the eBay purchase? Oh my, it's spinning. The cable is long enough. <laughs> It's, it's like spinning, this is great. There's like not enough tension to keep it locked down. Okay, let me find our zip ties. I got this. Let's feed this in. I don't got this. This is too much. Let's get some tension. Bam, that's not precarious at all. There's like no space to slip it under. I was not anticipating this consequence. Oh, this is it. Look at this. It's a giant sandwich. Why doesn't Intel sell this? They should totally sell like one of these bad boys. Look at that. I don't care that we can't put the side panel on. This is perfect. You'll love it. I love it. Let's see if it works. I could probably hold it sideways now. <gasps> and it stays. This is the best thing we've ever made. Look at that leaning tower of Intel. Okay, we gotta see what the temps are right now. So we're at 52 on idle. That's not good. That's bad. Let's start the stress test. 77 immediately. 87, 96, oh man, that's thermal throttling. Yeah, now it is, hold on. You know what we need? We need more fans. It's not blowing enough. Spin, there we go. Is that dropping? Still at 100 degrees on all the cores. I think we need another fan. Does that help? 100 degrees still. Oh man, this is bad. Yeah, all of these top coolers are really cool. And then getting down to the bottom, it's not even warm. Okay, so I had a theory that we weren't making contact. And after lifting this up, uh, that got confirmed. We were not making contact between the first and the second one. And I think part of the problem is that we're using the one that requires the different pin connector connection setup. Come on, guy. Don't be this person. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Okay. Yeah. Are you? Absolutely. So instead of using the one that actually has the clips on this and this, we should find one that actually has the clips on the long part, the low profile clip boy. Yeah, this one, because that way it can go down and we can just cut off all of the rest. We don't need a whole lot. So hopefully 
that might actually solve our problem here. Okay, so none of these are actually low profile enough, even when I cut everything off to be able to make contact. I think that's where we're coming into the issue. I also mentioned that I would maybe consider taking this off and putting this at the bottom since it's copper, but the copper ones have a little hole in the middle, so you can't actually make any contact unless you want to stick something down in there. And I don't have any copper juice to just squeeze on in. So the copper one has to go at the very top. So we kind of lucked out that it was the only one that was copper and the rest of these are aluminum. So the plan is we're not even going to mount it. All right. I think we actually might get better cooling if I just stack them on top of each other and hopefully the weight of all of the coolers being pushed down onto each other should be enough to keep the mounting good enough to cool all of it. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I'm not losing this bet. We just can't mount it vertically now. And then the copper boy. Okay, so that's working. I don't hear the fan spinning up. We're at 36 degrees. Whoa. All right, let's start the stress test. Hold on. Just relax. 52, 57, 50. It's not thermal throttling. What was it when it was just one? It was 60, right? We averaged 52.4. I think this 10 tower is better than one. And we don't even have the extra fans that I was screwing around with. Here, let me add some extra fans. We had some extra cooling. 57 degrees. Kyler, I think you know what time it is. I should pull up my laptop and try to learn how to do the Fortnite dance. 